And here, with the waning of winter on the late side of February, it's yet another visit to the Alewife Basin area. A first look at the little duck pond along the highway, the bike trails more or less shoveled out. It could use some improvement, but hey. And spring is just around the corner. Winter's withering away. Here we are at the basic, newly finished entrance to the bike route that follows the path of the old Central Massachusetts Railroad line. And for my January visit, there's a heron down here. There's more open water than there was in January. And, in general, further evidence of winter withering, although we'll surely see another storm or two before March 21st, probably even into April. Oh, there's some green beginning. Looks like it's something from the... Rhododendron Ericad family. And in July, this is where I had my funny encounter with a deer that couldn't see me because of somewhere in, in its eyes. There's a bit of ice on this. No surprise there. There has been some <laughs> rancor in the bicycling constituency about the condition of these trails, but hey, it's, they have to grow to a critical mass before it will become urgent enough for a stressed and strapped little commonwealth. Oh, what could this be? look like they might be deer tracks. Yeah, they are. I can see the cloven hoof print. They've been coming through here a lot. It's their shelter. Apple things, the dense stuff, it's loaded with edibles for the seed eating bird population. So, as spring progresses, look to this area for a potential bird spot. It's got everything they like the fragmites. Those are the things that look like giant wheat stalks are. Perfect concealment approach corridors. Here's your food source. These are 
staghorn sumac. And those flower heads are potential sources of food. cheaper too and of course all this Phragmites cover is equally appreciated by the deer. Here's another deer track that's used fairly frequently. I've run into it in all my visits here. And it's looking like the coming of spring is Notable as we continue. There's more of these laurel ish aerocat plantings. And they seem to be a bit encouraged. Some leaf die back from the transplant shock, probably. that have been created and you can see there are significant sections of clear bike path this is still more of the central mass railroad line all the great new work sort of had when you were younger. There's a fairly icy section. I'll do my usual <coughs> run. This is part of a monthly project to observe seasonal changes here at this brand new desolation of January and I didn't do video because it was too cold. Now we see a place as I keep harping on it poised for the advent of spring and it's hilariously quiet for 10 o'clock something 11 something on a Sunday I guess the novelty of the place is worn off. And 
The bike trail's a little bit daunting for bicyclists. So it's weird, it's like I've got the place to myself. <laughs>